happy Monday guys to Sarah here welcome back to my channel I am going to be doing a fun video for you guys today this is the level of woman closet essentials and this is my um, list of what I think is essential in my closet um, so let me know in the comments below if you like this sort of video also what piece was your favorite and um, yeah let's get into the video I think um, every woman should have a combination of this you know depending on their style and taste in their closet and these are things that I've collected over the years that have become like staples if you will or favorites that I would sell or get rid of because they just complement uh, my body so well so let's get into the video guys I am so happy to share it with you all right, so the first thing we're going to go into is just me reaching over here and grabbing whatever comes up. This is, I picked out a pair of black pants and these are pretty structured. You can wear these with a nice blouse and some heels for out for an evening. And these are great. A pair of black slacks is essential. They're not jeans, they're trousers, right? So you have to make sure they fit right on you so these you have to dry clean so a pair of black trousers and also it wouldn't hurt to have a pair of nude just to have the basic colors and also a nice skirt and this is a flare skirt so it is forgiven in terms of if you're slim it's great on that sort of figure because it flares away from your body so it gives you a you know a womanly shape which is like the hourglass figure right that's the one that men are attracted to women are attracted to and so on so this nice skirt here with great detailing in there you can see the um and it's pleather but I love it it's one of those pieces that I've had for years and I won't get rid of and this is a size 2 you know it's from Club Monaco okay carrying on the next piece I so love is you need a long a, a little, little black dress this is a long black dress right so and it's cotton so it's very nice in the summer evening for dinner you can wear it and it has a slit on the side so it does make you feel like sexy um, so it's a great way to elevate an outfit and this was from El Helmut Lang I'm trying to see the size this is a size small but what I love about it there's a rouge detailing in this plain cotton right um, so it makes it look dressy and nice when you wear it I'm trying to flip it on the other side so you can see the detail in. Come on. There we go. So, oops, I got my hangers tangled here. So, yeah, here it is. If you couldn't, I don't know if you could see the detail in. You see, it is rouged. So, it's not just a plain cotton black dress, it has some rouge in. So, that makes it say, a feminine and soft and sexy. Um, let's carry on a white blouse like i love a white blouse you cannot go wrong with it no matter the season you can put this on anytime it's very sheer so it's not too hot or too cold you would need to layer it if it's in the winter and if it's summer you just need a nice under bra for it but a nice white blouse and i tend to love v-neck for the reason where i can show off my curls so yes, and we're coming up on this jacket here. I haven't even worn it yet, but I can't wait to, for it to like get colder again so I'll be able to wear it. I got this last year in Paris for my birthday from Balmain. A nice Balmain blazer. I love the structured look of them. Just very nice and I love the gold detailing on the buckle. I am going to be wanting for a nude one. So that's on my wish list. So this would be a staple forever. That would last you unless you you maybe get bigger, then you may have to change size. But those are staples that will last forever. 
and we're going going and going i think i have a lot of black and white and nudes and colors i have colors but most of everything is kind of a neutral color palette this is one of my long time favorite uh, my burlington burlington my kensington coat from burberry and this is it, it. it's great for when it's a cooler weather you can throw it over your outfit i could even throw it over this dress if i'm you know going somewhere and it's a little bit chilly because it's a short sleeve dress and it would be nice and put together and stylish if you will um so yes a trench coat and i need a black one so that's on my wish list as well let's carry on guys this next piece here is a lace top love lace anything whether it's lingerie a blouse a dress a frock i love a lace lace in detail on anything it's so soft and feminine and sheer and chic and i love it this top was from bcbg and it's very nice again for summer you can wear it like so and in the winter you can just pop it in and then put a jacket over it or a sweater and you're good to go next one i think i have a black one to show you guys as well a black lace top not yet but a um great way as well is these bodysuits so this is a lace on top from sanro and i love it because it's see-through this is probably very nice and sexy on i've worn it over the years and it's still you know looks like brand new because i take care of my stuff and uh yeah a nice pin on their bodysuit would be great so when you want to have a more fitted look so the blouse isn't flowing all over you know when you want to really show off that hourglass figure a great bodysuit would be good for that you could pair that with a skirt or pants shorts whatever t-shirts i love some plain t-shirts this one is from club monaco and i love the little detailing in there so and this is in like a baby blue color good to have neutral t-shirts so you can layer your clothes if you put on a pair of jeans you can have a t-shirt but on over that you put on maybe a cover-up or a cardigan or a jacket to make the look be more sophisticated so and the lace black bodysuit this is another favorite can you tell it's really nice it just enhances your silhouette and you know makes you feel really sexy so i love lace bodysuits or lace top lace anything <laughs> um another thing i love is a dress with a backless i love backless dresses so my favorite dress would be open back lace form fitting that would be my favorite dress um so this dress here was from old poly but i just love it it's very sexy as you can tell it's just that the weighted cotton but it's double lined so it doesn't look like what do you call it? cheap or if you will where you can you know see your undergarments when things aren't double lined you can wear a slip but it's good when they're double lined so it helps to keep things that should not be seen hidden so that was my wine color dress from Opoli. i like it it's very nice i know if i knew it was going to be like that i would have ordered more than one like in a different color I don't remember if they came in different color but that's neither here nor there all right carrying on i remember i showed you that black skirt here is a white skirt right a love love textures right in clothing and this is a white skirt from Madge, and it's long but it's flowy right and underneath you can see lace 
sexy, right? So it's be nice for the summer. You're going on to the boat. You're going um, outside. Just wherever you can dress this skirt up or down, depending on where you're going. And it's very nice. So it could be the statement piece and the other things be more simple, like a nice t-shirt and nice plain blouse would work well with this. Okay. Um, next thing we have that has become a new favorite for me and it may be the only one I have and now I need to incorporate more of it in my wardrobe is a jumpsuit, right? And this is very forgiving if you have a little extra weight on you and you know you're working on getting rid of it. So this jumpsuit here is ruched, it's cotton so it's nice and airy and it has the pockets on here and it's nice with a pair of heels and a cover up for an evening out and also you could put a belt with it that makes it look really uh, make it look really nice so yes a nice jumpsuit also will be another I want to get a textured jumpsuit like something that's like in a sheet dress form that would be nice this is another favorite dress Again, you can see the patterns in there in the dress and it's very fit into your shape and this is from BB a couple of years back but I love it it has that very hourglass-esque those we call it bandage dress so I love bandage dresses so this is one of my favorite ones and the color is very nice as well all right guys we are dwindling down on my closet faves this is a nice flowy dress if you're running around in the daytime you want to look real feminine this is a nice flowy dress because of the way it is you can just be really girly and carefree uh, so I like this one I've worn this to dinners and just going out for cocktails it's really nice and pretty for summer and spring um, carrying on I remember when I got this dress this is one of those designer dress D squared um, size medium a nice sheet dress right I can wear this to a nice event I can dress this up um, with some nice heels a nice jacket a nice um, brooch and it looks really nice so I love this blue and I love blue on my skin tone so this is very pretty on and one of those staples that you need in your closet so this is probably another version of the little black dress this is the little blue dress um, let's carry on guys uh, not a dress can you tell I just love dresses dress queen so this dress is feminine in the fact that it shears away from your leg it's flare right so it's very forgiving if you're long and skinny it kind of gives you some shape and it's a pretty blue color nice for spring summer I love it and it's very heavy it's not that heavy but it's double lined and this was from Ralph Lauren and um, so it's very I know it's one of those staples that's gonna last you forever very pretty it would have been nice to have like a pink in that but then again it depends on the tone of the pink because I don't think pink fits me that well maybe this kind of pink that's on my lips a darker pink all right carrying on we need to get this cleaned of course this is a shirt I love sometimes a nice shirt you can roll the sleeves up and throw it over something and um, a nice blue shirt or white or both I recommend closet uh, staples so you can look put together this would be nice with that black slaps that I showed earlier to pair that with and some ballerina flats and you're good to go for like a nice chic lunch that sort of deal it's like I was in the office working or whatever and I just went to lunch 
and you may just got dressed from home and went shopping and then go to lunch. So these pieces I think would attract a high caliber man, a man of means and not scrub a -doo. that's going to be like, what's up ma? <laughs> Anyways, nice blazer, right? You need a, so that was, we showed a black earlier, you need a neutral color and this is like a blush pink one. I remember I got this a couple of years back in Canada when I was traveling. I needed it. I just thought it was so cute. So I like it. It's nice. And another blazer here we have is this green blazer. It's another essential. Like these are great for throwing over a dress. It could fit over this dress easily, you know, to cover up yourself before you get to where you're going to and then you take it off you know so you can show your arms and your you know little bits here and there and I love the gold detail on the buckle it kind of reminds me of the bomb and jacket and that's probably what they look they were trying to imitate so I like it so yeah a green blazer so now one more piece of clothes, a white jean is also a staple, especially in the spring and the summer where you want to look bright and light and you know, just airy. So now we're going to go into the, some of the accessories that I think it's essential for your closet. All right, this is juicy. I love these videos. I'm thinking I'll do some more in this series. First bag here is a Chanel Double Flat Classic Jumbo, uh, not Jumbo, but this one here. I got this long time ago, and this is a good staple in your closet. If you can get this and a black one, that's great. And if you know, you can sometimes if you can buy a brand new, you can get it on consignment at all those consignment stores that they have online. Um, you know, for second hand, you can get a better price or consignment boutiques. The next staple, and just because I've used it so much, it's become a staple. This is a good bag. You can do it cross body. You can carry it like this. It's um, great for traveling. Um, you. For you going out in the evening, you can just throw it over your outfit. Um, you can put the straps in the bag. Okay, you can see how it's patina. I've used it a lot. So it's a great bag if you're going to get into like designer bags. You will get your cost per wear for it because it's so practical. You'll definitely use it a lot. So you will definitely appreciate having it. And I've used it so much. I've got my cost per wear from it. So. I love the pattern on there, the LV, LV. I know a lot of people doesn't like the obvious logos, but you can get a plain, small bag for evening time, if you will. Another one is my Chanel wallet on chain in black. I am still waiting for a nude one. I keep missing it or something. And this is in that softer, subtle, subtle leather. It's very um soft leather. And it has the champagne gold hardware. So this is great for going out in the evenings. For, for dinner, you can carry this bag. And it will make you look put together and nice. And it's so simple and dainty. I love it. I'm still waiting on a nude one that's on my wish list. Sorry about that. Let me put that on mute. I grabbed a few essential shoes here and we can't have all these nice dresses without a nice sexy pair of heels to carry it off, right? So, of course, I grabbed my in the black and in the nude and whichever black or nude pump you have would go great with such outfits. It would just take it to the next level. You grab your purse and your heels Okay, lovey, so we're getting to the end. Next thing, after you put on your makeup, you put on your nice dress and your heels, 
guess what you need a nice fragrance perfume to just finish off that look and my favorite recommended is Chanel Low Tom Ford Noir de Noir and also I love to pair low with Chanel Boy from the less exclusive line so those would say are some of my top three favorites so definitely want to have a nice sexy fragrance when he's maybe walk by he'll or you walk by you can smell it and be like whoa what is she wearing or that is just super sexy and nice perfume it doesn't smell like a body spray from like bath and body works not that there's anything wrong with that this is a time and place for those things and um after we got the heels you also need a very nice pair of sling backs or open toe shoes for summer when it's hot these are really nice these are like crystals jimmy true sandals um i can wear these to a wedding a very nice event a gala and um you know put it with a nice jumper or dress and outfit is just automatically elevated so this will be a nice way to go to a very fancy event so try to get you a pair of sparkling sandals these are also great for holiday time <laughs> and oops while we're on closet essentials you need a nice pair of blunt flats right because you may not be able to wear heels all the time like most time when i'm traveling it depends on now where i'm going i can't wear heels so i get nice flats that has you know like uh, detailing on there so you're able to wear it with a more dressy shorts or slack and not look crazy so a nice pair of flats you can get in brown and black would be great staple for your closet and another version of flats that's put together would be maybe these bar bar sorry <laughs> my throat's dry now so, uh, salvatore Ferragamo flats the varia flats they're very comfortable so you get these in a couple colors your brown and your black and they'll be great to wear with any of these before mentioned outfits and you will still look chic but I try to avoid flats if you can. When I was pregnant, I would wear these, so I would still be able to look put together, but not like I gave up on life itself. Um, a pair of we call sneakers. I actually got these when I was in New York, running around, and I needed something comfortable to sightsee with. So if you're traveling and you want to look good, are put together these are from I'll get a nice pair of um, sneakers that would be able to go with some nice jeans or shorts I would not put these with dress but I've seen where some people put a dress and a sneakers together I just can't do that that's just a no-no for me but to each his own um, that's just my preference um, so I, I wrote down some notes just to remind me. So if you're looking to, you know, live up your wardrobe and you don't have all the money or whatever, get your boyfriend to help you. That's a recommendation. Try consignment shops. Then you can find good deals there. I know the Shira, they mentioned Goodwill. You can try there. Maybe you'll find nice things. Sometimes I donate stuff to Goodwill. So... You can find quality stuff at stores like that. I guess it depends on where where you live in the area, right? And um, buy secondhand. Most of these luxury things, once you use it, you can sell it for secondhand store and somebody else can enjoy it for, you know, more and you can change out your wardrobe that way. So yes, that is it, guys. Also, don't forget like you know more accessories the brooch i love the brooch i know it's um very i would say old lady-esque <laughs> i don't even know if i should say that but to me 
it's sophisticated and classy. So I love a nice brooch and like a nice watch and maybe a bracelet and small earrings, right? So I have in these diamond studs, but sometimes I'll put the little Chanel necklace on there depending on what I'm wearing. And if I'm doing a necklace, depending on the size, if I'm doing an earring, depending on the size, um, it's going to depend on the size necklace I wear or if I even wear a necklace. So sometimes, as I say, less is more. When you're swimming in certain circles, you just want to do less is more. You don't have to put on 10 watches and 10 bangles and 10 pair of earrings. It just make you look trashy. Like you're not used to nothing, like you're not used to anything. So be mindful and cognizant of that. Um, if you have any questions below in the comments and follow me on Instagram at lifefashtasari. And thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video.